All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Guru Pinoy. Hello, of course, sa lahat ng members ng Team Skinner, our Let Babies for September of this year. And of course, your online application starts uh, this month na po, no? That's going to be on the 23rd until August 24th. And of course, bago mag, uh, mag-Pasko, na bago matapos po yung taon, tayo po ay ganap ng licensed professional teacher. So again, if you'd still want to become a member of Team Skinner, very easy. Join us by sending a message through our Facebook page. If you are watching us on Facebook right now, this is the same Facebook page where you will be sending your message. If you're watching us on YouTube naman po, consider subscribing and of course go to our Facebook page later and become a member by sending a message through our Facebook page. All right, now we also have our full online majorship schedules. Of course, we have majorship for English, Math, Filipino, GenSci, SOCSci, MAPE, Values Education, of course, TLE, AFA. So on your screen right now, you can see um, the schedule now for our full online majorship. And of course, ongoing pa rin po yung kanilang diagnostic test discussion. Po, pwede po kayong humabol if you would be joining us tonight or maybe in the following days. Po, pwede nyo pong mabalikan lahat ng ating mga discussion online o lahat po ng videos, lahat ng files ay nandyan lamang po sa inyong group. So again, just send a message to our Facebook page and our admins are there ready to assist you para po kayo ay maging ganap ng licensed professional teachers, become a member of Team Skinner by sending a message to our Facebook page. Now, of course, uh, for you to be inspired to do your best and to top the licensure exam for teachers in September, top three, we will be giving you your prize of 100,000 pesos. Top two is 200,000 pesos. Then, of course, if you rank first, you will be receiving 300,000 pesos from Gurung Pinoy. And so become a member of Team Skinner and enjoy all these monetary prizes. Okay, now tonight's discussion is focused on professional education. It's about field study one, field study two, and a little bit of action research. But then again, mababalikan pa rin natin yung action research. I am going to allot one uh, session, no? for research in education. So again, we are doing things by topic na ngayon, no? by subject or by topic in um, in as, as we look forward to our mid-review. No? Mid-review po ninyo would be in August. Ah, no, not, not August, sorry, in July. Okay, so bago mag-mid-review, sana eh, hasana tayo sa lahat ng parte ng new curriculum all the different topics that are covered under the new curriculum, lahat ng topics kahit yung mga hindi natin na, na encounter, lalong lalo na kung ikaw po ay under the old curriculum, hindi mo na encounter nung ikaw ay nasa university pa and so that we can um, we can bridge the gap no, between your curriculum and also uh, with the new curriculum that you will be taking uh, in September. Okay, so that's professional education. Batiin ko lamang po yung ating mga team Bruner, team, uh, team Piaché, Team Gardner, Team Erickson, no? Team Grow, na ngayon ay mga licensed professional teachers na. And of course, they are leaving some comments sa ating comment box. Batiin ko lamang. Si Sir Poy, aplaon. Good evening, Ma'am Mekres. Assured na hindi lang learning makaku- makukuha ninyo sa Gurong Pinoy, pati mga tunay na kaibigan. Dahil po sa Gurong Pinoy, LPT na ako. Salamat, Ma'am Mek. Maraming learning nakuha ko sa Gurong Pinoy. Malaking tulong. Ang daming lumabas sa huling pabaon. Special mention on Migo Trio, Sir Glester and Sir Keb Stop One, mga study buddies ko. Hello, of course, no, sa ating mga uh, noisiest. Yung Migo Trio, yung noisiest no, sa Team Bruner. But of course, ngayon, sila po ay licensed professional teachers na hindi lamang yan. Isa sa kanila, of course, si Sir Kebs, no? Toto KBL, Sir Freddy Tanlawan is uh, top one sa SPLE. Okay? So again, if you'd want to pass the let, if you want if you want to top the let, and of course if you'd want to gain lifelong friends, become a member of Team Skinner under Gurung Pinoy. Alright, so professional education, before we start, of course, let's all start with our opening prayer. So samahan niyo po ako mga kaguro. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. 
please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my study is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right, now once again, we will be talking about professional education tonight, field study one, field study two, and a little bit of action research. Kindly like, love, share our video, start a watch party, tag your friends. And of course, uh, you can show us your support by sending us stars on Facebook. Super chat, super stickers naman po sa ating YouTube channel. Ma'am Christine Jill at Navi Maravilla. Good evening po, Coach. Maraming salamat po. After six times, LPT na po ako now. Salamat po sa tulong ninyo. Team Brunner po. Worth it po lahat ng movie marathon. God bless po. Congratulations, Ma'am Christine. Maravilla. No? So after six, six times of taking the let, ngayon ay licensed professional teacher na si Ma'am. Okay, congratulations. And of course, we are very happy sa inyo pong tagumpay. Sir Toto KBL, again, Walang hanggang pasasalamat sa bumubuo ng Gurong Pinoy, especially kay Coach Mac. Malaking bahagi po kayo ng aking tagumpay. Freddy Tanlawan Jr., SPLE, Top 1. Hello, kita-kita tayo sa inyo pong oath-taking. No? Mag-message po kayo kung kailan yung inyong oath-taking dito sa Iloilo. Alright, let us all start with question number 1. Number 1, it's a very easy question, very common question sa inyong licensure exam for teachers. Number 1, which facilities are present in a health-promoting school environment? 1, canteen that sells all kinds of food, including junk food. 2, comfort rooms common for both uh, boys and girls. Number 3, sanitary drinking fountains. Number 4, safe playgrounds. Would it be letter A, 1 and 4? Letter B, 1, 2, 3, 4, not play safe. Uh, or, or that's letter B. Letter C, two, three, four. And letter D, three and four. What is your choice for number one? I see a lot of letter Ds. Letter Ds. Tumpak kaya ang letter D for question number one. Okay, number one, I see a lot of letter Ds. Tama kaya ang letter D? For question number one, again, please do like, love, and of course, share our video para po mas marami tayong matulungan. Parang kailan lang nanonood ako ng mga videos mo, ma'am. Ngayon, LPT na po ako. Self-review at napakalaking tulong ng mga video discussions nyo. God bless po. That's coming from Ma'am Grace. Congratulations po. Okay, again, question number one. I see a lot of letter Ds. Again, please be interactive. No, mag-interact po tayo. And of course, ilagay yung item number so that uh, we can keep track of your answers. No, kung para saan ba yung answer mo. Is it for number one, number two, or number three? Okay, ilagay po yung item number. Salamat po after how many years of taking my board. Isa po kayong na, na katulong sa akin. Kasi hindi ko na mabilang ang pag-take ko ng board exam. Ngayon, license na ako at permanent na po ako sa public. Maraming salamat po. That's coming from Ma'am Nanette Sean Correas. Congratulations, Ma'am Nanette. Alright, letter D for question number one. We are looking for facilities that are present in a health-promoting uh, school environment. Now, number one, I see a lot of letter Ds. And tumpak po ang letter D. No, letter D only includes... Number three, sanitary drinking fountains, very important. And of course, safe playgrounds, no? it's very important that we have safeguards in our playgrounds since our little kids, no? they usually do not know how to take care of themselves yet. What makes number one wrong is that there is a mention of the inclusion of junk food. Number two naman po, common comfort rooms. No? So sana separate, sa, uh, separate dapat yung comfort rooms for boys and girls. All right, so number one letter D. Tumpak, congratulations kapag kaligwak. Of course, alam nyo na kung ano yung inyong gagawin. Move on kagad. We go to question number two. It involves formal and informal assessment activities as part of learning and to inform the planning of future learning. Letter A, assessment as learning. Letter B, assessment for learning. Letter C, assessment of learning. Or letter D, um, all of these. Okay, what is our choice, Ma'am uh, Nadsfer? Good evening, Ma'am Meg. Inabangan ko talaga mag-live kayo. Gusto ko lang magpasalamat ng marami. 
Sa iyo, ma'am, the best ka talaga worth it ang panonood ko. One take lang sa board. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations po. Okay, we share your happiness. And of course, sana kayo ay maging mabuti at magaling na guro. Okay, in um, the very near future. No? All right, I see letter B sa ating question number two. These are the different types of assessments. No? So sabi ng inyong number two, it involves formal and informal assessment. Okay, formal and informal assessment activities as part of learning and to inform the planning of future learning. No? So ito marahil yung pinaka-importante parte ng ating question dito, to inform the planning of future learning. So that means you use the results of this type of assessment to plan the way that you teach. As a teacher, no? you get the feedback. Ano ba yung hindi pa nila alam? Ano ba yung hindi pa nila kabisado? Sa aling parts, meron silang misconception. And so siguro kailangan kong balikan muna yung topic na ito bago ako mag-proceed no, sa next topic. Okay? So, feedback that you use as a teacher no, in planning future learning. The correct choice here, of course, would be letter B. That would be assessment for learning or formative assessment. Okay? Now, you remember, we've already been discussing the different types of assessment. No? So, again, formative assessment is assessment for learning. And this occurs when teachers use inferences about student problems progress to inform their teaching. So itong nakalahad dito, no, to inform the planning of future learning. Ginagamit mo kung ano yung nakukuha mong information from their assessment. This is formative assessment. Oh. So um, this is assessment that is given during instruction, yung mga daily activities mo inside the classroom. These are all part of your assessment for learning. Okay, so that's assessment for learning for you. Assessment of learning is your summative assessment, the big chunks of test. No? This is done after instruction. So, kunwari yung summative test, periodical test, fourth quarter test. Okay, so these are, these, these are all parts of your assessment of learning. So, this one occurs when teachers use evidence of student learning to make judgments on student achievement against goals and standards. And sometimes the question you select is uh, it measures the quantity and quality of teaching or quantity and quality of learning that would be assessment of learning. Summative assessment. And assessment as learning here, yung hint po ninyo is the letter S, as, no? that is done by the students. Occurs when students reflect on or monitor their progress to inform their future learning goals. So, kumbaga, yung inyong assessment as learning is uh, metacognition. No? So, thinking about your own thinking, learning about your own learning na ginagawa ng ating mga estudyante, okay? And so, the correct choice would be letter B, assessment for learning. We move on with question number three. Teachers are looked upon as important agents of change and the society expects a lot from them. Which of the following portrays this statement? Letter A, teacher Calvin is careful with his actions in school, but after class hours, he secretly goes to a bar. Letter B, teacher Christian leads a group every weekend. She leads them to protest against the government. Letter C, teacher Ray encourages his students to use echo bags instead of using of uh, plastic in going to the um, going to the market or letter d teacher susan loans at a bank even if she cannot pay it in due time okay which one do you think is the right choice no? so as teachers now we are looked upon tayo ay tinitingala bilang importanting agents of change and malaki yung expectations no? bilang guro and daming expectations uh, from us so alin dito yung statement na nagpapakita or nag-aagli sa ating question. Would it be letter A, B, C, or D? Please put your answer in our comment box. Okay? Your answer in our comment box. What's your choice for number three? I see a lot of letter C's. Letter C. Okay, the correct choice here, of course, would be letter C. Tumpak yan, no? Sabi ni Teacher Ray, uh, dapat echo bags yung ating gamitin. Huwag pong plastic in going to the market. Okay? So, huwag pong uh, i-advocate yung plastic na kaibigan. Alright? So, C, no? Kasi positive siya. Sabi kanina ng isa nating kaguro. Ang Teacher A kasi, si Teacher Calvin, napakabait, no? Careful with his actions sa ating pong school. 
Pero after class hours ay nagchuchug-chug na si si Teacher Calvin. No? So uh, nagwo-war la na si Teacher Calvin after school hours. Teach our uh, Teacher Christina man letter binaten, uh, okay naman na siya ay leader kaya lang leader po siya sa pagpro-protesta. Okay? So leads them to protest against the government. Ang in- inyo namang letter D, Teacher Susan loans at a bank no aray kaway-kaway sa mga tinamaan. Okay? Medyo malimit nga no may loan yung ating special public school teachers. So, so hindi naman masama mag-loan. Dapat lang eh, uh, minomonitor din natin at sana hindi sobra yung ating uh, pangungutang. Okay? Kasi sabi dito sa letter D, she cannot pay it in due time. Okay? So kapag uh, Judith na, no, andyan na si Judith, hindi nakakabayad si teacher Susan. Okay? So letter C, ang ating choice for number three. Congratulations. We go to number four. Which of the following statements about classroom management is true? Letter A, there is a one-size-fits-all template that everyone must use. Letter B, you can get along fine without a classroom management plan. Letter C, you should give more attention to the best students. Or letter D, your systems and procedures should always be age-appropriate. Okay, what is our choice for number four? What's your choice? Question number four. Number four, ICDs, letter D, letter D for question number four. Hello again. Hello po sa ating mga uh, uh, team passers na, no? Low, low now, laon later, sabi ni Sir Glester Avila. Okay. Mm. Okay. May problem daw si PLDT sa mga may lag, no? Si uh, PLDT kanina nakapost na meron silang problema. All right, number four, ICDs, and that will be the right choice. Okay, so classroom management is the way, of course, that you uh, manage your class no, para hindi magulo, para nakakapagturo ka, hindi puro saway na lamang yung inyong ginagawa. Uh, remember, as a teacher, there are so many things that you are going to do inside the classroom. Hindi lamang pagtuturo, mag-check ka ng attendance, magsasaway ka, magre-referee ka. Minsan po ay um, mag-nurse uh, ka. Minsan, uh, of course, no, we are locus parentis. We are the second parents of our students. No? So uh, it's very important that you know how to manage your class para dire-diretso yung inyong pagtuturo. This is very important. No? If you plan to go to the U- to U.S. and uh, to teach in the U.S., ay napaka-importante na alam mo kung paano i-manage yung inyong klase. Okay? So... Sabi ng letter A mo, there is a one-size-fits-all template. No? So kung ano yung ginagawa mo dito, or ginagamit mo sa Pilipinas, ay applicable din sa Amerika, applicable din sa Saudi, or kung sa alinmang uh, bansa, at kung sa anumang grade levels. No? Yan yung sabi ng letter A mo. Letter B, you can get along fine. Kahit daw wala kang classroom management plan, you can survive teaching. Okay, so yan yung sabi ng letter B. Letter C, dapat binibigyan mo ng mas malaking atensyon yung mga magagaling mo estudyante. Letter D, of course, ang ating tumpak na choice, your procedures should be age-appropriate. Okay, so hindi mo po pwedeng gamitin yung mga um, sayaw-sayaw or mga kung anik-anik na ginagawa ng kinder teacher or grade 1 teacher. No, hindi po siya po pwedeng gamitin sa college. Okay, so yung letter D mo and letter A are actually opposites na. So, letter D, ang ating tumpak na choice, there is not a one-size-fits-all. Minsan nga, no, if you are already teaching, alam na alam mo to, minsan kahit na parehas po sila ng grade level, um, minsan iba yung kanilang sectioning, no, meron ka mas magaling, meron uh, mas mahinang klase or mas magulong klase, and so tinitweak mo yung inyong procedures. No? Iba yung procedure mo, iba yung activities mo for the different types of classes. Okay? So, dapat as a teacher, kinikilala mo yung inyong isudyante. Alam mo dapat kung paano sila i-manage para nakakapagturo ka. Hindi yung pagod na pagod si teacher pag uwi ng bahay. Kasi hindi dahil nagturo si teacher, kundi dahil nagsaway si teacher. No? Naging uh, referee si teacher. Alright, we go to number five. Will the PPST as guide an ideal uh, learning environment should have the following characteristics? Exec, letter A, builds many professional linkages. Letter B, establishes and maintains consistent standards of learners' behavior. Letter C, is safe and conducive for learning. Or letter D, the learning environment promotes fairness. What is our choice? Number five. 
Uh, Ma'am Misha Amparo Ramos. Batiin ko lang po si Ma'am Misha. Good evening, Ma'am Me. Ay, nasaan na yung comment ni Ma'am Misha? Ayon. Uh, inabangan ko po talaga ang live niyo tonight to thank you. Highly recommended po ang Gurong Pinoy. Kapag may nagtatanong po sa akin kung saan ako mag-review, Gurong Pinoy agad ang sagot po. I'm uh, from Team Bruner and now ay isa ng LPT and free. Grateful forever. Okay? Uh -huh. I'm trying to check my internet connection, no? Kung okay ba yung ating internet connection? Let me check. Mm -hmm. Ayon. Okay na. Letter A for question number five. I see a lot of letter A's, Ma'am Gladys. Uh, Orsoli, Orsolino, good day, Ma'am. Gusto ko lang ipahatid ang taos kong pasasalamat sa inyo at sa Guru Pinoy. LPT na po ako, unit earner, first taker. Kaya, kaya po, inirecommend ako po talaga ang uh, Guru Pinoy sa aking mga kilala na magtitake pa lang ng let exam. Thank you so much and more power, Team Bruner Tatak GP. Congratulations po. Ma'am Gladys, LPT. All right, for number five, I see A's. Now, sabi ng inyong question number five, will the PPST as guide an ideal learning environment should have the following characteristics? Except the correct choice is letter A, you know, builds many professional linkages. Bakit? Kasi po yung ating hinahanap is the learning environment at hindi kasama yung letter A natin, no? Tingnan natin kung bakit. All right, so these are the different domains of your PPST, the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, so yung pumalit sa NCBTS dati, okay? So you have seven different domains, content, knowledge, and pedagogy, the learning environment, that's um, domain number two. Domain number three, diversity of learners. Number four, curriculum and planning. Number five, assessment and reporting. Number six, community linkages and professional engagement. Number seven, personal growth and professional development. Okay, so dito po nakikita yung ating letter A, no? community linkages sa six at also sa seven. Now, uh, sa uh, mga members ng ating Team Skinner, no? members ng Team Skinner, I have posted the reading, no? kompleto po yon about the PPST for the beginning teachers. So sana po ay nireview ninyo, binasa ninyo, huwag pong magtitake ng let kung hindi po natin yun nababasa. And so hindi ko na po hihimay-himayin kasi na, napaka-tedious po no? kung ating himay-himayin. Lahat ng domains na nandito, dahil nandun na po lahat sa ating ipinaskil. No? So, I hope that you have read it, download it, read, uh, you, you read it, you may print it if you want to. Okay? So, again, these are the different domains of your PPST. As we go on with our discussion tonight, meron pang ibang items about your PPST. Alright? We go to number six. Action research is most appropriate when teachers... Letter A, control possible rival hypothesis for extraneous uh, variables. Letter B, learn how things were done in the past and apply them to current or future events. Letter C, learn the participants' views rather than imposing their own view of the situation. Or letter D, try to correct something that is not working. What is our choice for number six? Ayan, sabi ni Ma'am Edlyn Joy Rentutar. Nabasa ko po, busog na busog po sa learnings. So that's about the PPST. Uh, Facebook user, medyo mahina po yata yung inyong internet, Ma'am. Okay, so meron pong uh, marahil no, sa mga naka-PLDT, may problema po tayo. No? So if you are a PLDT user, Maari pong slow yung ating internet connection tonight. Okay, number six, ICDs. We are talking about action research. At ito po yung pinapagawang klase ng research sa education. Uh, prior to you graduating, maaaring nag-conduct um, ka ng action research. Or sa masteral natin, meron din namang action research no? pag uh, non-thesis yung ating pong strand ng masters. Okay, so... Here, yung atin pong tanong is kailan dapat no or ano yung gamit pinaka appropriate na gamit ng action research. 
Would it be letter A, control possible rival hypotheses? Letter B, learn how things were done in the past and apply them to the current or future events? Letter C, learn the participants' view rather than imposing their own view of the situation? The correct choice here is letter D, you know, try to correct something that is not working. Yan po yung pinaka goal ng inyong action research to correct or to remedy something that is not working in your school community, okay? So that is the right choice, all right? So these are the different cycles in action research are uh, the different steps now in your action research cycle. So una una, you have to plan, okay? So you observe, you try to check, alin ba yung hindi effective na educational process or educational strategy that we are using in our school? Then how can I remedy this? Now what are some of the possible um, solutions? to these types of problems that we have. Then, of course, you take action. You try to take action. Okay, so may remedy ka na. Ayan, test mo whether your remedy is effective or not. And then, of course, you analyze by collecting your data. You uh, use some statistical tools no, to analyze your data. Then, of course, you conclude. And paulit-ulit, no, kapag hindi pa naging successful ang results ng inyong action research, then you go on with the action research cycle. Okay, so ibig sabihin ng action research is cyclical. That means na you continue what you're doing, you continue with the action research until the problem has been solved. Okay, so again, the correct choice there was letter D. Okay, we go to question number seven. It underpins the present study with a cognitive structure that the study intends to verify or support. Would this be letter A, conceptual framework? Letter B, introduction? Letter C, literature review? Or letter Letter D, theoretical framework. What is our choice? Okay. Silent pag di alam. Sabi ni Ma'am Hedaya B. Kamal. Hello po. Assalamualaikum of course sa lahat ng ating mga Muslim brothers and sisters. Okay. So again, sa mga medyo may lag, no? Maaring PLDT users po kayo, na no? So... Medyo may problema kasi sila ngayon. Wow, congratulations. Sino po yun? May fresh graduate, no? Sabi, uh, ayun, si Ma'am Lauren Grace and Kahas Castor. Good evening, Coach Mac. Fresh graduate lang po kahapon. June 4, 2023. Congratulations po. Sana lahat fresh, no? Okay. I see letter C's. Talaga po. C's and D's. Okay, so sabi dito number seven, no? it underpins the present study with a cognitive structure. So kumbaga, merong basis yung inyong present study. no? It underpins the present study, your study, with a cognitive structure. And that uh, study is intending to verify or support that cognitive structure or that theory. The theory that underpins, that is that serves as the background of your study. And so the correct choice here is let this is theoretical framework. Now, you have a theory that you'd want to verify or you'd want to support. Okay, so that's the correct choice. Theoretical framework po yung ating hinahanap. All right, so you have your theoretical framework and conceptual framework here. Theoretical framework is used to test theory. So yan yung nasa question natin kanina, di ba? To test this theory or to support this theory. To predict and control the situations within the context of a research inquiry. Conceptual framework naman is aimed at encouraging the development of a theory that would be useful to practitioners in in the field. So that means yung theoretical framework mo, it talks about the theory, the background of your study. No? So conceptual framework naman, you'd want to develop this type of theory. Okay, so um, medyo overarching yung, yung theoretical framework. No? It's already based on a theory, conceptual framework mo, you are still developing a theory. All right? And so the correct choice there was letter D, theoretical framework. We go to the rest, uh, to the next item. What kind of parents can most likely foster a sense of responsibility among children? Letter A, autocratic. Letter B, democratic. Letter C, neglecting. Or letter D, permissive. What is our choice? 
Okay, kung medyo uh, lagging no, yung ating pong signal, of course po pwede nyo pong mabalikan yung ating full video if you are a member of Team Bru uh, not Team Bruner, Team Skinner, nababalikan po yung ating full length video. No? Anytime po pwede nyo pong ma-replay and of course po pwede nyo pong i-download later yung ating file. Okay, so again, if you are still not a member and you don't want to join our online quiz, our um, continuous video discussion, po pwede nyo ma-replay, po pwede nyo pong i-download yung ating PDF, no? ito pong PowerPoint na aking ginagamit. And of course, all the extra materials that I am uploading sa Team Skinner, magpa-member na po kayo sa Team Skinner. Okay, very easy. Just send a message to our Facebook page. Okay, number eight. Aha. Uh -huh. Ang dami nagsasabing letter A, autocratic. What kind of parents? Okay, so sabi dito, what kind of parents can most likely foster a sense of responsibility among children? Anong klase ng parents ang uh, makakapag-produce ng kids who have the sense of responsibility, no? responsabling mga bata? The correct choice here is letter B, democratic. Okay, so let it be po ang ating tumpak na choice. If you look back at the different types of parenting that we have, authoritarian, ang authoritarian mo po is the same as your letter A. So autocratic and authoritarian are the same. Authoritative and democratic are also the same. Okay, so between these two, parehas po silang mataas yung expectation from the kids. No? Mataas yung expectation ko Call from you, I want you to, to be an honor student, to be successful at life, to fix your things, etc. Pero yung focus ng inyong authoritarian is more on obedience and punishment over discipline. Minsan, hindi pinapaliwanag sa bata, bakit merong ganitong rules? Um, basta, you need to follow my rules. No? You need to fix this, you need to fix that. At konti lamang yung support na binibigay sa bata. No? Hindi masyadong warm yung parent sa inyong authoritarian setup. No? So again, autocratic and authoritarian are the same. Ang inyo naman pong authoritative and democratic are also the same. No? So authoritative mo, high expectations, pero there is a positive relationship. No? So there's enforcement of rules, but uh, very important that you are explaining the rules to your child. And of course, there is the warmth and support that you have to, to support your child. You have to say, I want you to be an honor student, but I am going to give you all the support and uh, the attention that you need. No? So, tutulungan kita mag-aral. I would help you how to develop your study skills, for example. No? That's authoritative. Authoritative. Ang permissive and uninvolved nyo po, ng inyong uninvolved is the same as letter C, neglecting. Now, these two naman, the same sila in the term na... Um, in, in the case na mas mababa no, yung kanilang expectation, sometimes walang expectation from the child. No? So, kesera sera whatever will be, will be. Hindi nila pinipwersa or hindi nila ine-expect na mag-excel sa klase ang kanilang mga anak. Pero yung pagkakaiba naman, yung permissive mo, they give everything to the child. No? There's a lot of support, love and warmth towards the child no? but there are no rules and so your permissive types of parents are the ones that you usually create spoiled kids okay so walang rules um bahala ka kung anong gagawin mo sige lang anak mahal kita anak okay lang sa akin kahit na uh, wala kang curfew no you, you go home for example high school student you can go home anytime you want no so sabi ng permissive mo na parent and so usually these types of parents can create spoiled kids. Now, in terms of teachers, your permissive teachers are those that are too friendly with the students. So, wala ding rules. And they are too friendly with the students. Pag sinabi ng sudyante na, ma'am, wag muna mag-test kasi ganito, ganyan. O, o, o ka kaagad si ma'am, no? And so, hindi din po po pwedeng tayo ay very friendly with our students. Okay? And involved naman, sabi ko kanina, walang expectations at wala ding pake. Okay? So, wala ding warmth, walang support. And so, another term for this would be neglecting. Still, another term would be detached parents. Okay? Walang pake. Provide little guidance, nurturing, or attention to the child. Alright? And so, the correct choice here would be democratic. Ayan, sabi ni Ma'am Aizin, sumalpong, strict pero my love. That's democratic way of parenting or authoritative. Alright? We go to number nine. 
Oh, mahababa. Career stage one or beginning teachers has these descriptors present in a continuum of development within the profession by providing a basis for attracting, preparing, developing, and supporting teachers. Which of these descriptors does not belong to the first career stage? This is based on your PPST, you know, the four career stages. Would it be letter A, engages in collaborative learning with the professional community and other stakeholders? for mutual growth and advancement. Letter B, manages learning programs and have strategies that promote learning based on the learning needs of their students. Letter C, possesses the requisite knowledge, skills, and values that support the teaching and learning process. Or would it be letter D, seeks advice from experienced colleagues to consolidate their teaching practice? What is your choice? Number nine. Ma'am Katrina de la Cruz, good evening po Ma'am Mek, thank you so much po and dahil po sa inyo, pumasa po ako ng let, um, exam, ang laking tulong po ninyo, halos lahat po ng mga tinuro ninyo ay lumabas. Congratulations, of course, Ma'am Katrina de la Cruz, isa sa ating mga licensed professional teachers. Good evening po. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, ma'am. LPT na po ako dahil din sa tulong ninyo. Sir Dennis Andal, good evening po and congratulations. All right, number nine, letter A. LPT na po ako ngayon. Thank you po and God bless. Salamat po sa lahat. Parang kailan lang nung nakikinig ako sa mga drills niyo po. Ma Morena Ko, congratulations po. All right, number nine, is it A or B? We are talking about your career stage one. Okay, career stage one po ang ating hinahanap, but we are looking for something that does not belong to it. No? So that means we are looking for an exception to your career stage one. The correct choice here is letter A, engages in collaborative learning with the professional community and other stakeholders for mutual growth and advancement. No? Let's take a look at our slide. Makinig po. So these are the four different career stages under your PPST. We start with your beginning. Okay, This is career stage one. Career stage one, this teacher has just gained the qualification. So kunwari, nakapasa sa B.Ed. or B.S.Ed., nakapasa sa licensure exam for teachers, Ngayon, required na, no? meron kang masteral units. Okay? So, those are just some of the qualifications. Some maaring um, qualified ka din or maaring hanapin din yung inyong experience. Okay? So, just gain the qualifications to be recognized or to rec recognized for entry. That would be teachers who are under your beginning or career stage one. Career stage two are proficient. These are teachers who independently apply teaching principles. So, kumbaga, they can already apply their teaching principles independently kahit walang tulong, okay? Unlike your beginning teacher na kailangan pa ng mentor, okay? So, pero ang inyo pong uh, usually no proficient or career stage two mo na uh, teachers are those that are in their second year, third year of teaching, no? medyo meron ng alam. Ang stage 3 mo, highly proficient teachers who consistently display a high level of performance in their teaching practice and nakakapag-mentor na din po sila, okay? Nakakapag-mentor na din sila. That's your highly proficient. And of course, ang four mo, these are your distinguished or career stage four na teachers. They already embody the highest standards for teaching. Also, these are your um, awarded na na teachers, okay? So they are grounded in global best practice and lead colleagues in promoting quality teaching and learning. Now, kanina, sabi natin, no, um, Career stage one, ayan, just gain qualifications recognized for entry. They already have a strong understanding of the subject areas that they are trained in. For example, be ed ka or maaring may major ka, alam mo na no, yung content ng inyong major or maaring uh, be sped ka or be ed ka. No? Uh, they possess the requisite knowledge, beginning knowledge, kumbaga, requisite knowledge, skills, and values. They manage learning programs and have strategies that promote learning based on the needs of their students. 
And lastly, they seek advice from experienced colleagues. No? So ito yung kanina yung hinahanap natin. Sabi natin, meron pa silang mentor. No? Usually, upon entry to a school, meron kang mentor teacher. So wala ka pang halos uh, alam, no? hindi ka pa masyadong magaling na, na teacher. Or kung feeling mo man magaling ka, you also have to admit na no? you still have a lot to learn. Being a career stage one or beginning teacher. No? So you need help from um, the more senior teachers, okay? So that's career stage one. Career stage two, ito po yung ating, yung ating choice kanina, actively engage in collaborative learning with the professional community and other stakeholders for mutual growth and advancement. Kaya ito yung ating choice kanina, no? so choice A. All right, so career stage two, they are professionally independent. Ito kanina yung sinabi natin. They provide focused teaching programs that meet the needs they display skills in planning, implementing, and managing. And they also collaborate with other professionals. And uh, they also reflect, no? they are reflective practitioners who continually consolidate the knowledge, skills, and practices of career stage one teachers. Okay, so they also help career stage one teachers. Okay, so this is career stage two. At ito po, word uh, for word, no, verbatim, ito yung ating choice kanina. So hindi siya kasama ng career stage one dahil it is part of your career stage two. All right, career stage three, consistently display a high level of performance, may in-depth and sophisticated understanding na sila, have high education focus, situation cognition, more adept in problem solving. No? So mas mabilis na sila, nakikita na nila kung ano yung problema. Work uh, collaboratively with colleagues and provide them support. Remember, your career stage three are your mentor teachers and continually seek to develop their profession, professional knowledge and practice by reflecting on their own needs, okay? Next one, your distinguished teachers, the highest, embody the highest standard. Ito kanina yung sabi natin. Exhibit exceptional capacity, okay, to improve their own teaching. Recognized as leaders in education. No? So sabi natin kanina, ito yung may mga awards na, na teachers. Create lifelong impact. They consistently seek professional advancement and they exhibit commitment to inspire the education community and stakeholders for the improvement of education provision in the Philippines. So once again, if you are a member of Team Skinner, nasa group na po natin ito na nai-upload na po natin. Uh, I cannot remember when. Might be on Saturday. Okay, so balikan po yan. Uh, the extra material on PPST on beginning teachers, all right? We go to the next item, still about the PPST. Number 10, in the PPST domain number two, learning environment consists of six, uh, six strands, which does not belong in this domain. Letter A, fair learning environment. Letter B, management of learner behavior. Letter C, relevance and responsiveness of learning programs. Or letter D, support for learner participation. Okay, which one is your choice? Ma'am Sheza May Castre. Hi, Ma'am Mek. Salamat po. Isa po ako sa Team Bruner. LPT na po ako ngayon sa mga September takers. Good luck po. Basta focus lang kayo sa panonood kay Ma'am Mek. Tutulungan niya po kayong makapasa. God bless po. Maraming salamat and of course, congratulations. Ma'am Sheza May Castre. LPT. All right, what is your choice for question number 10? Forever grateful to Guru Pinoy, especially to you, Mamek. Napadaan lang po. mag oath taking na po kami sa Astrodome, PRC Tacloban, June 8, 2023. Go Team Skinner. Kaya niyo po yan. Hashtag Team Bruner A. Hashtag LPT March 2023. Hashtag oath taking LPT. That's coming from Sir George Burbano Caber. Congratulations po from Team Bruner. Nakakamiss makinig sa boses Coach Me. Thank you, Coach. Dahil sa Gurong Pinoy, napadali makamtan ang license. First taker, unit earner, LPT, hashtag Team Bruner. That's coming from Ma'am Ivy Marie. Congratulations. Ayan, si uh, meron na namang nagbubulag-bulagan. Hindi daw nakita yung na. Okay, minsan yung problema, tayo po ay nagbubulag-bulagan. 
Okay, for number 10, no? so we are talking about the learning environment, but which one does not belong in this domain? Hindi nag nagbe-belong nagbe sa ating learning environment. The correct choice here, I see letter C, and that would be right, no? relevance and responsiveness of learning programs. Bakit? Because choice C belongs to curriculum and planning. Kasama po siya sa curriculum and planning, hindi po siya kasama sa ating learning environment. Okay, so uh, strand 4.3 no? is relevance and responsiveness of learning programs under domain number four and not domain number two, which is your learning environment. Okay, move on ka agad kapag kaligwak. Okay lang po yan. We go to the next item. Okay, which physical school environment supports learning? Letter A, availability of flexible classroom furniture. Um, letter B, presence of spacious classroom. Letter C, prominence of bulletin boards in every building. Or letter D, tall school buildings. What is our choice? Number 11. Okay, what is our choice? Number 11, physical school environment that supports learning. Okay, which one is the right choice? Number 11. All right, could it be letter A, B, C, or D? Ano po kaya ang ating hinahanap sa 